Greetings and salutations, friend. I don't know about you, but now that we are in the thick of winter here in the Netherlands, I am longing for a warm, snuggly dress, preferably a vintage-style one. Therefore, I plan to turn this oh, into this glorious 70s pinafore. Wish me luck. What I'm doing here is stay stitching the edge of the neckline to prevent it from warping when I sew it. I'll talk a little bit more about this later on. Fun fact, old Gwen would have laughed and scoffed at the idea of stay stitching a garment. Current, more experienced Gwen knows better. Also, old Gwen would have just sewn back and forth to secure the thread when sewing darts. Current Gwen has learned that it is better to tie them by hand to prevent bulkiness. What's a project without a few mistakes? I sewed the front panels and the back panels together and then realized <laughs> that they didn't match up after I had paid attention with the cutting out of the fabric to make sure that they were at least reasonably equal in the placing of these dark lines. So this is the fixed one, still need to fix this one. I heard a really terrifying sound, so I went to film it, and then I found out that I had not, in fact, pressed the record button, but there was two cats fighting in our backyard. There's still some tension going on there. That bottom one looks like it's just chilling, but that's a facade. I think it's secretly terrified. I would be terrified if I was faced with that white fluffy menace over there. Oh well, my battery is flashing, I better stop filming now. So, a lot of things have prevented me from filming, so uh, I've made rather a leap from where we last left off. And um, I'll just uh, run you through the most important things though. First of all, the curved lines need to be stay stitched. So I did that and you need to stay stitch them as soon as you finish cutting them out because if you leave them lying around they will stretch and also if you put them under the sewing machine they will stretch. So you need to stay stitch and how I did this as per the instructions of the pattern you stitch with a large basting stitch from here to here and then from here to here and again in the rounded neck line in the back as well. Didn't say to stay stitch the armhole, so I didn't. I neglected to do this, by the way, with the uh, uh, lining because, well, I forgot. But I don't think it has impacted the lining as much. The lining is more, uh, how do you say this? This is looser, yeah, the weave is looser, I think, and this not so much, so this didn't really needed as much as the wool blend. And, well, I've made the lining. I've I've sewn it to the front neck neckline and I have ironed that. And now I've pinned it to the rest of the bodice. And I will proceed in stitching it and then we will be able to turn it inside out, stitch the shoulder pieces together. And then I will only have to do the slip stitch it on the inside, the lining that is, and then do the hemming and put in the zipper. I have somehow managed 
to do this. Can we just take a moment to to contemplate how extraordinarily insanely stupid this is. Oh my god, this is a doozy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like it, it begins in, in air. It just, I've literally <laughs> managed to make the zipper begin in air. How did this happen? Oh, well, if you ever feel bad about a mistake you made, just think back to the fact that I made a zipper <laughs> begin in empty air. <laughs> I fear the reveal of this dress is cursed. I have tried on a less than three separate occasions to film a reveal and instead of doing it in my backyard, which I was getting kind of tired of by now because every reveal I've done so far has taken place in my backyard, so I thought this reveal I'm gonna do something a little bit different and take the dress out for a spin to a nice location that you haven't seen before. Well, there was a first time, I can't even remember what happened the first time, but obviously it didn't happen. Then there was the second time when we went out with the kids. And that didn't work because there were other kids. And all those other kids sort of miraculously <laughs> flocked to the place that I was trying to film the reveal every time I started filming. So that didn't work. This morning we had the brilliant idea of going to an estate. A nice house. And after checking the weather, which was supposed to be really good all day, when we got there, it started raining. And of course it started raining by the time that we were on the furthest point in our walk. And we didn't bring an umbrella and we didn't bring rain clothes. So I ended up running back to the car with my screaming one-year-old in the buggy. He was getting drenched. The poor thing. I should get over it, sure, but still. My mommy heart is a little bit broken. Well, as you can imagine, running back to the car with my long dress on was not the best thing. Anywho, at some point, I even believe I was dragging a large branch behind me because I was wearing my Victorian petticoat underneath this dress. It goes very well underneath this dress. A uh, match made in heaven, really. But. I was running towards the car with the buggy and at one point I felt something drag behind me. I looked behind me and then lo and behold there was actually quite a large branch that had snagged in the lace of my petticoat. Anyway, we made it to the car. Obviously we did. And now I am home with a big mug of tea, trying to warm up a little bit. My feet are still very, very cold by the way. I've put my dress and my coat in the washing machine. And um, I uh, really hope that the dress will come out and reasonably me-sized still because um, Mama forgot to pre-wash the fabrics! Both of them. The lining is not pre-washed and the other fabric is not pre-washed. The lining is cotton. <sighs> very prone to shrinking. And the outer layer is wool. Very prone to shrinking. So, ah, to be continued. Well, 
friends, all turned out all right in the end. Although the brown dye of the wool bled onto the lining and pockets a little, making it a tad more drab than I'd like, the dress still fit fine after it came out of the wash. And the fourth time, I finally managed to shoot some decent reveal footage in the dunes near our village. I'm very happy to have a warm, snuggly winter dress because I was getting kind of tired of only wearing skirts all the time. And the pockets are definitely a good addition, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now if you've enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for watching, until next time, bye bye! Thank you.